Peeps, it's the Shadow Woman 7 again, and today I'm going to be reviewing, I forget which company it is, but it's the Gears of War uh, Headshot Locust. And I think, I'm not sure, but I think it's a Comic-Con exclusive, I could be wrong. Um, but this thing is awesome. Um, this is really awesome for display cases. This thing is hilarious. I mean, it also comes with a removable head, you could take this one off. And this is as if, you know, with the sniper rifle or the revolver, if you shoot them in the head, in the Gears of War games, if you shoot an enemy in the head, their head, like, just poof, and they explode, and they just kind of stand still for a while. Um, the sheer amount of detail on this is amazing. I mean, they've got all kinds of stuff on this. By the way, he also does come with a um, revolver, and it does, let me see if I can get it out, ah, it does come with a revolver. It doesn't have that much good of a paint job, but still, it is the revolver. Uh, you can put it back in and give it to other locusts in your collection. He has like a little combat knife right here, little pouches everywhere, buckles, joints. Uh, I don't even know what this is. It could be a flashlight or a flare. And the paint on this is so amazing. Uh, it, the headshot is like kind of like a clearish red, and you, there's brain matter. And look at this. You can even see, I don't know if my camera's good enough, but you can even see uh, part of his face just... <laughs> it's very funny. Now, the only downside of this, but it's understandable because it is a display figure. It's not meant for, you know, playing or anything like that, or posing. Just This is this is really the only pose you're going to need. It does come with the uh, uh, Locust Rifle, though. Uh, I forget what it's called. Um, but the only problem is articulation. It has very little articulation. And if you want to pose it in any other way, it's going to have a hard time standing. So that's the one only downside to this. Also, something that totally makes up for the articulation. In fact, it, it just it's just it just makes this figure all out awesome. Is it comes with dog it comes with cog tags. And these are, you know, if you're a Gears of War fan, you have to find these in the game to get an achievement. Um yeah, and they're kind of famous because uh, they're the, they're cog tags. They're they're like the dog tags of the Gears of War universe, and they look really unique. And it says here, um, property of the coalition of ordered governments, and these are really cool. And they're both you know the same. They're not they don't have anything on the back, but you can wear them. They're little you know they make that noise a lot if you wear them, like I did, um, lot, a lot I did in high school. Um, sorry about that. But yeah, this guy is really, really cool. It has so much detail. I mean, wow. This is great for display cases, or even just keeping it in the box and displaying it. I mean, this thing is really cool. You can even see the brand they did on his skin. Look at that. It has that locust emblem. It has that locust horde emblem. You, I don't know if you can see it with my camera, but it's got that almost swastika look to it. But, yeah, this thing is fantastic. I give it a 5 out of 5. This thing is amazing. If you see it, pick it up. It's definitely worth the price. I got it for, like, 20 bucks. Now, I would definitely, even if it's, like, $50, I'd pick this thing up. It comes with it comes with COG tags. It comes with two weapons, you know, two uh, heads. I can't find the original head. But, you know, there's a, there's, an inter there's a replaceable head where it's just a normal locust head, as if he's alive still. <laughs> and then this thing, which I always kept on it. I think this is hilarious. Um, hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, this, the detail on this thing is fantastic. I give it 100%, 110%. This thing is so cool. I love it. Thank you very much for watching my review. Please pick this thing up. Have a fantastic day.